Uh, what's up everybody, Shmook here, and today I have a very cool product that I'm very excited to uh, be showing off for you here. It, this is the Armory Replicas Rising Metal Revengeance Raiden Handmade Gear Sword. I think the title is a I literally read that off the Amazon site, and I think it's actually, I just realized it's a little out of order. So I did, act I kept it in the sheath this time, just so I don't have to do a jump cut type thing that I did with the Cisco. So this sheath, I mean, it's pretty basic. It's, uh, of course, fake leather. Then with this, you know, just average strap. Uh, it's held together well enough. Uh, I, I'd say it's okay. There's just nothing keeping the sword in per se, other than the sword itself. So it is a little, little loose here. But let's get to the actual sword. Uh, since the uh, sheath is nothing really to write on about. Just put this over here. All right, well, let's get to the sword, which is something to talk about. Uh, beautiful mirror finish. It is a little smudged up. Hey, that's me. <laughs> a little smudged up here, unfortunately. But uh, really beautiful finish on this. I, I don't know. I know these are because I think these are like, it's a, man, someone explained how the sword works in an Amazon review. It's like uh, these things are like little little energy receivers and it makes the sword super electric. It's like an electric blade. So that's cool and all, but I don't know what it would do to uh, the actual structural... Wow, I look stupid. <laughs> I don't know what it does to the structural integrity of the blade when you're, say, uh, cutting something, <laughs> which you actually kind of might want to. Um, so it is a Chinese blade, but according to the uh, let's see the Amazon link here I do have it open just so I could refer to stuff on here so it's 1045 high carbon steel um, so it's not actually that high carbon 1045 um, but it, a carbon blade is a carbon blade and they do say it's hand forged and you can actually kind of see that um, ah jeez yeah I don't think I can really show you guys it very effectively but you can see like a, it's probably a machine hammer but you can see the hammer pounds as they pound the blade into shape. You can't actually see it on the blade, at least on my blade. And it's just a very smooth finish here. I really like the aesthetic of it. Of course, a lot of that goes down to whoever on the uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance design team designed the blade in the first place. But I think they did a good job bringing it to life. Even though, of course, it's a mirror finish. I think it's like black and then it's got the electric... Uh, of course, the electric effects over that. Um, so the, the tip, not too pointy. You see, I can put a good amount of pressure on that. I don't feel in danger. But luckily, unlike the Cisco, which actually is just like three bucks cheaper, this does have an edge. Oh, actually, hey, I almost cut myself there. I underestimated it. So it's a carbon blade. So the edge will last longer, but it is more difficult to sharpen. So I will be uh, doing another video where I try and improve this a little bit. Obviously, first and foremost, get my smudges off of this. <laughs> but if you, yeah, I really like the beautiful finish on the blade. And um, I, these do worry me, because even though they are, they are, the holes are filled, they're, they're holes in a blade, um, seemingly randomly placed. But of course, it is full tang. And uh, one really nerdy thing that this reminded me of I don't know if you guys are into cars, probably not. It reminds me of the Lamborghini Sesto Elemental where they just place the uh, the seat pads in place to make a seat. That's what this is. This looks like to me. There's also some styrofoam on it. Um, but yeah, to make them to make a handle, they just placed pieces of a handle on it. You know what I mean? In like an incomplete but still very aesthetically pleasing fashion. Of course, to mimic the game's look, but I do think they converted it well here. It's just one piece, this is pretty solid, but one piece that is not very solid is this one, which is uh, on the blade, by the way, guys, uh, maybe make that a little tighter, please. Uh, maybe that's supposed to be a little loose, uh, I don't know, but it's loose on both sides, and I don't think I could tighten that by hand. Yeah, it just looks like uh, plastic pins in there, pushed in, like these are plastic pins, same sort of plastic pins. Uh, it has some heft. To it, but nowhere near as much as say the Cisco, because uh, the blade is a lot thinner uh, this way, this way here. Of course, it's very thick this way, but thin this way. 
And I think that that's going to give me a lot of cutting power, of course. We'll be doing cutting tests eventually with this as I improve it a little bit more first. Uh, is this a lanyard hole? No. I thought I had a lanyard hole on the bottom there. But I do have to say that this, I mean, I wasn't the biggest, uh, here, you, you can look at my face. Oh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, we're not going to do that. Um, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the game just because it, it was just a hack and slash. It's not my type of game. Um, but it did look very cool. So <laughs> I'll give props to the game for that. So I, I, I don't know what this sword means to you. I don't know if you'd want to get a more expensive replica. But this one, of course, having a carbon blade being full tang, has some usability outside of being, of course, very, very pretty. I think this is probably... My favorite sword, aesthetically, in my uh, slowly but surely increasing collection. I really, really dig the look of this. Uh, I bought this for six, uh, next 63, sorry, all the way around, $36, which I think is a very fair price for a carbon blade full tang sword, which uh, it probably is not 100% hand forged, but obviously has had someone's hands on it at some point. So you gotta give props for that. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, I, honestly, as someone who's not even a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance fan, but, you know, not, of course, not opposed to the game, but even as someone who isn't a, a super fan of Raiden or his sword, I do still really, really like this sword. I think it's at a fair price point as well. I look forward to trying to sharpen it, cleaning it up a bit, and uh, I would definitely highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.